Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. We are going to get into some rank grind at the diamond level, try and get this daily quest for the fire fire team. And yesterday, if you saw my reward video, I had an amazing roll. I had like $70, maybe $60 worth of cards there. Um, that video is up on YouTube if you want to check it out. I think it was called like Huge Rewards or Huge Rewards Plus Announcement, I think it was called. And speaking of the announcement, a couple things. Um, big upcoming collaboration video is coming out real soon maybe as soon as this friday we'll have to see about that we'll have to figure out the timing and we now have the community member tab on the channel and we are welcoming new participants new members to the channel um jay smith is the first to sign up and i'm super excited for that man thanks thanks for that and uh i hope that this is something that grows and we can keep adding value to you guys and making it something that you really can't do without. Like I want that to be something that you're glad you're participating in, a community that you're glad to be contributing toward, and also that you're receiving content there that you won't get other in anywhere else. Okay, so excited about that, and let's get into some battles. We're working on the fire team today, and that is one of my stronger teams, so I feel pretty good about it. But it's always hard to rip through five. I see the trample rule set, I see uh, earthquake so I immediately think fire I immediately think Magnor and I need to hit with this build what you want to get is you want to create a situation where Magnor is going to get to do his trample repeatedly 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 one thing that I wish I could do right now actually I want to quickly see if I can do it I'm going to go over here I'm going to the peak monsters rental market I'm going summoners I'm going fire I'm going, I'm looking at quid. I want a quid right now. I want a max level quid. I see 40 DC. I'm going to try and rent this for one day just to see if it'll work right now. I'm going to go one day. 40 DC. Go. That's a max level quid. Now that'll pop through while we're here talking. Yeah, I got one minute, 25 seconds. It's not there right now. I have to refresh the window. It's going to close this out. That transaction's happening on the blockchain as we speak. And now the clock is still ticking, so I gotta be quick. But there he is, Quid, level eight. And I'm gonna drop uh, Magnor with Quid. And then I wanna create a situation where I'm giving him ins as much damage as possible. I got two Inspires there. It would be also excellent if I could reduce my enemy's damage by, or sorry, hit points, like maybe Goblin Shaman. Um, I gotta think about this though. Because it would also be nice to throw some armor on him and then give him a, heat, a repair. See, if I threw Flame Monkey with the Tower Griffin, what you're doing is you're creating an armor synergy. Tower Griffin's going to drop their armor on Magnor. Flame Monkey's going to give him that repair. Beetle Queen's giving the Inspire and the Heal. So now I've got a Heal and a Repair from keeping Magnor alive. Plus the Piercing Damage from Quid in combination with the Enrage Damage from Magnor is going to give me a real... Uh, opportunity to take advantage of that trample. I wish I could do like one guy I love playing here is um, the Spark Pixies. I gotta be quick here, but if you do the Spark Pixies, he always hits first and he can break one or two armor on your opponent. In this context, m probably Magnor is gonna be the first one to punch. And so I want Quid in case he comes at me with some guy with one armor, right? Let's say he puts Serpent of, uh, I think it's Serpent of Eld there. Let's see what he does here. The quid that I just rented is because of that pierce, right? And look, once I hit, if 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 I hit, it's going to go through all of them. It's going to go through all of them. No, hang on. If I hit, let's see. Based on the speed, I'm going to come out of this with a four speed. He's going to come out of this with a six speed. So the Phantom of Abyss is going to hit me, and what what's that going to do? It's just going to piss off Magnor. And it's going to send Magnor into Enrage, and he's going to be dropping, I think, 11, I think 11 damage, because he's got 6 standard, plus 1 from the Beetle Queen, which makes it 7. And when he goes to Enrage, it's 50% more, uh, or rounding down. Is that how it works? I think it's going to be 11. I might be wrong about that. And if it is, he's just going to eat them, unless I miss. So, and if, if he had put the Ice Pixie, say, here, 
Theoretically, that armor would prevent Magnor from trampling through. But because of the quid 40, 40 DC rental. Okay, so it is 50%. See, I go from 6 to 9. It's 50%. And we're going to just trample the team. Oh, that miss, though. Still. There it is. Just gobble right through to love it right through their armor. So I've told you that before, but I know not every one of you watches every one of my videos. What I just did there with the rentals, if you are you if you're going into a brawl, if you're going into a um a rank battle, if you're going into a tournament, you can do that sort of thing. But specifically with brawls and tournaments, you need to make sure that that rental is in your possession for the entire window of the tournament. If that rental expires and the tournament hasn't yet ended and I submit a, a, that battle with that quid that I don't technically own, I only have for 24 hours. And then on the 25th hour, that battle was submitted or actually took effect because the round was over. I would flee. I would lose because that's not my monster. I don't actually have it at that moment in time. And so... You have to be careful when you're doing that sort of like a tournament or a brawl. But here in this context, I, I know that the battle is going to be completed. It's going to execute and be completed, you know, immediately. So I'm able to do that. I didn't necessarily need to rent that, but I really, one, wanted to demonstrate that you can do that. And two, wanted to talk about how Quid and Magnor work together in, in, in those contexts. Okay, let's get another one fire. He likes his kitty. And there's enough, there's enough mana cap that, that it, he's obviously going to pick Kitty. So there's uh, odd monsters are allowed. Most of the monsters he's showing me here are even. Um, do I want to win, or do I want to just? I don't really feel like I've got the strongest fire team when it's only odds. So I'm I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to win it or whether or not I just want to, you know, throw out a team that's going to give me a chance to get my fire. Super sneak. Let's put Buddy at the back. Mm hmm. I could do without flame elemental. Do, 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 do. Now, maybe I put Onyx Sentinel in the first position instead. Then we'll get rid of Flame Imp. I'll put in that little dude that we just I just pulled out. Oh no, we won't. Benari Heatsmith with the amplify. He's gonna amplify this the 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 uh, thorn damage that Serpentine Soldier offers. Yeah, this is good. This is good. I think I want to go like this. Yeah. Because look, most of my damage, Flamesmith, Elemental Phoenix, Exploding Dwarf, they're all firing at the first position. Mm. No. That's what we're going to do. So, Onyx Sentinel. I've got four things shooting at the first, at his first position. And I've got a healer for my Onyx Sentinel, which is the Tortesian Chief. Oh, I did quid. I actually, I would have used pyre if I was thinking about it. See, if I had done my exploding dwarf and I put it over here somewhere, it would have just punched the Lord Arianthus once and it would have died against the thorns. The Amplified, you see that? I got Amplified Return Fire Damage. 
Amplified Thorn damage. This is a really interesting build that I've got right here, actually. This is really, really working. And it's because Venari Heatsmith. I didn't actually see this coming, but... Oh. But this is actually a very powerful little construction here that I'm going to try and reuse again. Now, it's not every time that there's a super sneak rule set, which means that putting my serpent at the back there, uh, my serpent soldier at the back, maybe not, won't always make sense. But even if you put the Venari Heatsmith at the back and the Sentinel at the front, you're creating a situation where you might get magic reflect, you might get thorn damage, both of which can be amplified due to Venari Heatsmith. I like that. And then it gives utility to um, something like a Flamesmith or a Flame Monkey where you can get those repairs. That was a very cool build. I'm going to use that again. I haven't fully begun to utilize that Amplify in a way that I'm, I'm, it's in my regular rotation. And that win is definitely making me... It's kind of registering for the first time how meaningful that Amplify ability can be. Okay. So he likes blue. And he can do it. He's got some nice summoners. He's got the blue legendary level four. He's got the that legendary level four. That one's not legendary, I don't think. Technically legendary? I think so. Just as is that the one with three armor? What's it called? Can't remember. Okay, so flight. So I'm I bet he does something like this. With the white team, with that armor. Uh, summoner. What am I going to do? Fire. Now, Wid might be helpful. Wid might be the play. Now, do I have any Shatter? I don't think I have Shatter with... Oh, I do. Get him up there. Two different Shatters, because I expect him to do a big armor play right now. Of course, I'm not going to leave them in that, in that situation. Like, it's going to be... I'll play them in a different way. I'm not sure how, but... It won't be left in that situation, that placement. So I think we need... Now we have two repairers. It would be great if we brought Flame Monkey for the heal. Or, I mean, sorry, Beetle Queen for the heal. But I'm underpowered because, look, I got four mana and I really am probably going to need every mana. I really Battering Ram is very helpful because of what I'm expecting him to do. But maybe he's redundant because I've got the Flamesmith, right? So let's go ahead and pull him back and then we'll get one flyer out there now i wish i had a heal give it a shot i didn't bring a healer i wish i had one but I have two flyers, one shatter. He's going to have an armor. Now he's going to have the the blind on me, which is annoying. But he doesn't have any... It's not like he has these, the Phantom of the Abyss. See, the blind from the summoner is a reduction in my ability to strike him. But if he had been playing off of that, like maybe using some very fast monsters or monsters that had dodge or flight, then I would be in maybe extra trouble. But he doesn't really. Yeah, the CG Genie has flight, but there's he didn't use like the Phantom of the Abyss, or he didn't use even Ruler of the Seas to give that quickness. Um, I think he's got one heal. He's got a affliction, so even if I had brought a, ca a heal, it wouldn't really have mattered. This could be good. He didn't really do a big armor play like I thought, but he does have four because of the um, summoner. 
I thought he was going to do white, the white team. The um, Phineas Rage is so powerful when you go up against a, a, a neutral monster, or rather a monster with no attack. That press damage is so significant. Okay, at least I got, took him out with my dying breath. And then the pierce damage from Quid, so powerful. I love it. Quid is, I love Quid. And this summoner gets no love too, by the way. Nice. We should be okay. That's a big, yeah, we're going to be good. We're Gucci. There it is, guys. That's three in a row, right? I think we can get it. 56 DEC per win. Three in a row. 56 DEC times 15 wins a day equals 840 DEC um, divided by... Is it divided by or times? Nope. 840 times 0 0.011. We're talking nine dollars and twenty-four U.S. cents per day by playing this game, for from just DC rewards. Then there's your daily quest, and as you saw yesterday, I got seventy, sixty, seventy dollars for my daily quest. Then there's the season rewards. This game's awesome. Come on, get in here. Let's try and get those other two together. What else is going on? Well, this is loading up. I have been selling my vouchers. You know that. Um, I guess I sold my last vouchers and I was trying to buy some tokens trying to buy some SPT trying to buy some SPT I got an order in oh it closed nice great history I'm gonna try and... I bought I think 30 or 40 thousand more SPT today let's see wallet i don't usually keep my crypto on exchange here but i have been lately because i'm just getting that money take let's see take token getting that money from my voucher sales and you can stake the tokens right here on the on hive engine and then you can start taking advantage of the um the compounding value creation that comes out of having spt by posting on splinter talk and I do so probably once a day. I'll do so later today. 45 D SPT, 95 for the previous one, 90 for the previous one. So guys, get onto a Splinter Talk if you're not already. You don't need to have money. You don't need to buy tokens to post about your favorite game and you can show your battle history and you can talk about you know why you like Splinterlands and people like me and will leave you up votes. And that's going to be free, free cryptocurrency. And, and again, as just like we talk about with Splinterlands all the time, those values are going to seem trivial, but they aren't. They're going to feel irrelevant because it's like, oh, what is that? 10 cents, 5 cents. But these are cryptocurrency tokens that you're just going to like want, you're going to accumulate until one day you're just astonished by what you've, what you've, by all the value you've accumulated. Because it's suddenly, it just happens suddenly. It's all at once and then suddenly. Uh, yeah, it's all at once and then suddenly. Why do I say that? Because it takes a long time for bull runs to kind of unfold, right? Um, right now, Splinter Talk is like not very popular. And maybe, to be perfectly fair, maybe it will never be popular. Not, maybe, maybe it will never be significantly more popular than it is now. That's a better way of saying what I mean. It's possible that it'll never get mass adoption. There'll never be, you know, there's 450,000 daily active players playing Splinterlands. Maybe, maybe a, a thousand of them are posting daily. If it ever got to a place where half a million people were posting on Splinter Talk, 
that would transform the value of those tokens. I won one right there again. We're, we need one more. So, you know, maybe that never happens. But if it does happen and you are just accumulating these free tokens that you get through your time and attention, you're going to be super glad that you that you've you you took that really to you know, 10 or 15 minutes a day to post something or to come comment on my my post so I can give you a, a thumbs up, which is credits, those SPT in your pocket. It's just going to it's it's literally free money. And at first it'll feel like nothing, but you'll get hundreds of these tokens or maybe one day thousands. And then someday there'll be another bull run and tokens like this will appreciate. That's my view on things. I'm not saying you rush out and buy based on that suggestion. But I personally am accumulating a little bit. And we're just talking a few hundred dollars because I love Splinterlands and I love everything touching it. And this is something that's promoted by Agroad and Yaba. And, and, and they also, by the way, give away great NFTs on there. They also give away great upvotes. If you give them, if you give content that will help the community be educated or excited about Splinterlands. So under talk, check it out. We just need one more with fire. This time we got to go slow. I'm going to go quit again because fire gives me that speed buff. So he, right off the bat, he's like a detriment to me. I wish I had a massive living lava. Did we? Let's do it. We're doing it again. Living lava. Level eight for 43. Let's get it. One day, 48. This is just the cost of one win. But if this helps me win this one game, worth it. Oh, I only got 30 seconds. Wait. Hopefully it's there. Hopefully I don't have to reset again. Where is he? No, I got to reset again. 27 seconds. Because it takes three to four seconds to reach the blockchain and then it's got to reach my... Oh, no, I got to do... This is the last chance and whether he shows up or not, I got to... Yeah, he didn't show up. Okay, that's fine. Quickly. I'm in trouble. Way to go. That Goblin Shaman might actually hurt me because it's going to slow my enemy, giving them buff in this context. But I had to fill the team. Or I didn't have to, I mean, I had to submit the team, so I didn't have another second to think about it. Well, he picked a lot of fast people, didn't he? He's got speed, speed, speed. Maybe I'll, if I stun him, that would be really huge. But I'm going to slow him. So he's going to put it under two. Hmm. It would be better for me if this Magnor punched me before I punched him. Ooh. Because now he's going to trample. Oh, that miss is so amazingly important. Retaliate, retaliate, please. Re yes, that's a huge retaliate. I love the song. I don't know if you can hear it, but I love the song. Oh, that miss is so annoying. Yeah, and I probably would have lost even if I hadn't missed that one time. But that's annoying. Did it go through? Maybe it'll be there next time. See, it worked the first time. It didn't work the second time. And you don't always have enough time to wait on it. So maybe I did something wrong on the order. Maybe I didn't confirm the transaction. Maybe it was just taking another minute on the blockchain. Whatever the reason, it wasn't done when I needed it. And as a result, you know, you got to be careful with those types of some rentals rated the last second. But it's cool that you can do that. Hmm. 
Oops. So Venari has thorns. He's on the back. Uh, Serpent has thorns. He's in the front. Whether they sneak me or go right at the front, they're going to get that thorn damage. Plus, it's amplified thorn damage. Plus, we have Flame Monkey repairing. Now, I wish I could bring Beetle Queen for the heals. Yeah, give it a shot. This song is, this song is called Shine by Spectrum. And it's an NCS song, meaning no copyright song. I really, really enjoy it. Okay. The so magic's going to be a problem for me. And he's not hitting me, so the thorns are irrelevant. And worst of all, Venari Heatsmith's in the back, so I'm I'm almost for sure dead here. I, I can't I can't really see how I could possibly win this. Let's get it. We'll get it right now. It was on like a three game win streak, four game win streak. Now we're going on a little little slide, but we'll get it. We're going to try it again. Put the quid and the magnor. And then. The Beetle Queen is going to give me a repair for my Magnor and a heal for my Magnor. It would be awesome if I could bring the Tower Griffin and the Flame Monkey because that's going to give me, for five mana, that combo is going to give me two armor and a repeated heal. I really like that. But the Beetle Queen gives me a repeated heal and an Inspire for four costs instead of five giving me enough to throw in the Goblin Fireballer, allowing me to do the knockout with the Fireballer. Put the Furious Chicken in second position because Blast is part of the rule set. That's going to mean that whenever he does hit me, he's going to hurt my second player also. If we get this one, it'll, we'll open the pack and that'll be that for today. Well, it's going to be... Once we open the pack, that'll be that for today. We're still working on 5,000 subs. Somebody was asking me, when are we going to do a next live? We're going to do a live this weekend. We'll do a live this weekend just to check in. It's been a while, but. Oh, no, I lost him right off the bat. Yeesh. See, in that context, I should get a trample because I, I hit the I hit the failed summoner, didn't kill him, but I killed the truest chicken in the second position. I should get a trample. So we'll do a live on Friday or Saturday. I can't say exactly when. Uh, my wife is sick. My eldest daughter is sick. We got to make we all got to work timing wise, but. Um, but we will we'll, we'll do a live this weekend and that'll just be no for no reason at all. We'll just have some fun together. Um, do some rank battles, hang out, maybe do ask some questions, do like an AMA kind of thing. But we're definitely going to do like a big celebratory AMA where you, I can let you guys get to know me a little better when we reach that 5k. So if you're not already sub, sub to the channel, I'll make sure that you do that. And also remember, we do lots of things on the channel. Like we give away DC, SPS, um, card giveaways at major celebration points so there's going to be some vouchers give to, given away when we reach 5k if you guys want those chaos legion packs 
Um, actually, I'll just I'll give away some Chaos Legion packs. I'll give away five Chaos Legion packs when we reach 5k. So make sure you're liking and subscribing, guys. Sneak attack, eh? Ton of melee damage, Pit Ogre, Phineas Rage, Goblin Max, Sand Worm, Serpentine Soldier, and then Cornelius with the Thorns damage on the rear and the self heal. So then I've got two Thorns damage uh, at the rear end, right? I've got the Cornelius with the big hit points and the self heal. And then if, if that goes down, I've also got the Serpent Soldier um, ready to take up the, the rear position also. Now I clearly have the better monsters here. Look, he's got two maxed out level monsters right there. The rest are just kind of you know, medium upgraded. I should win this. I mean, unless he does some sort of crazy dodge performance over here. I'm predicting victory. The pierce damage killed that guy with the second hit instead of a third, which is really helpful. That's okay. I expected to lose Cornelius. I'm glad I got one more shot there. And now I'm going to give one more one one more one more thorn damage right there too. And then we finish off the Cerebus. There it is. Now this is I feel now we're at, this is a lock now. There it is. Cool, let's get this daily reward. Claim it. Let's get it. So guys, um I did this separate video explaining the membership, but just we're going to try and do regular lives for that community. We're going to do lives for the non like for the non membership squad also. But as you well know, I don't do lives every day. I don't do lives every week. Um, I enjoy them, but with the two episodes of every single day, I'm it's a lot. Plus all the comment man management and now growing the community like the the guild, the TNA guild, that discord, which you guys are all welcome to join. And then ultimately now the membership, it's, it's, it's going to be infrequent to see these lives come for the just general public. But if you want to get in on the membership, we're going to be doing regular lives, uh, in some cases weekly. Um, and that's from the private side and from the membership. So if that's interesting to you, make sure you check out the different tiers available. And like I've said before, it's by no means expected. It's not going to take away from the quality or the, or the consistency of the content you're receiving here. But absolutely, if you want to support the channel, that'd be one way to help me turn this pastime into a full time. Let's get into this. Let's see if we get some more gold oils. Great card. Great card. Oh. All right. Every one of these cards, guys, it's not, it's not 25 cents. It's, it's an asset that today sells for 25 cents, that in the future almost certainly sells for more because there will be less quantity and more demand. Agrod and Yaba knew what they were doing when they created this game. Literally deflationary asset printing device. Even if they create new monsters in the future that are something like these monsters, they'll be different and they synergize. They don't, they don't disregard. So it's like Pelicor Mercenary is something like um, Flesh Golem, but different. And so, you know, you might well want both. Flesh Golem has unique power, collection power ability. So you, if you really need collection power, you go for that. Pelicor Mercenary has got some flight and some retaliate. Those are cool abilities that are distinct. So they've 
they've always done it this way where these cards they come out and they feel like they're cheap and they're meaningless and they're inexpensive and nobody wants them but then they go out of print and you know what happens to the price nice oh epic like a four dollar card i think that's a four dollar that's a one dollar that's a 80 cents it's probably six seven dollars again I, what did I tell you earlier? I think $9.30 from DEC per day playing this game at this level. Probably $7 worth of rewards here. Every day. Yesterday was $70. Today $7. The day before was, I think, $10. So even if you said it was $7 a day and you said it was $10 a day from DEC, you know, that's $17 a day. 17 times 30. $500 a month times 12. 6,000 US dollars a year playing at diamond level. I know these cards are expensive. I know most of you can't do that. But if you begin today at bronze and just let those cards accumulate, because you will get cards. I know those, those loot chests have been nerfed and they've been nerfed again. But there are opportunities for you to get free cards by playing this game. And if you play long enough, you will. Not to mention DC or credits, and even credits are money that you can put towards cards which are then going to begin snowballing and appreciating. Don't sleep on this game. Get involved. Start today, and in three years, thank me. Thanks for your time and attention, guys. Have an amazing day. Check out the Discord. Check out the tournament. Check out the membership channel. Appreciate you. God bless.